Maryland Comptroller Peter Francho, along with other state and local leaders, met at the Centerville's Bull and Goat Brewery to recognize the brewery's entrepreneurs and talk about craft beer in Maryland. So I'm standing here with Comptroller, who is a great man who signs my check, so I appreciate that. <laughs> so what are we doing here at the Bull and Goat? Well, I'm here saluting uh, this uh, small nano brewery. They're less than 3,000 barrels a year, but represents a big risk by the owners. And uh, I think this is a very nimble and innovative and entrepreneurial sector for our economy. Mm -hmm. It's about $500 million worth of GDP is represented by the small brewers. And we think it can be a billion dollar uh, sector uh, in a couple of years in Maryland. So uh, I'm down here just to give them a proclamation, give them a pat on the back, tell them that we're going to do whatever we can to make Maryland an attractive, welcoming place for uh, these wonderful independent brewers. Right. That's great. And it doesn't hurt that the beer tastes good, right? Well, the product is terrific. And, you know, with all due apologies to Budweiser and Miller, those wonderful beers, they're fizzy, I guess. <laughs> but these are tasty. Yeah. And these have a, a real appeal for uh, the citizens of Maryland. And uh, we're going to try to modernize the state's laws so that these new businesses can uh, start up. And if they have a good product, as you say, they can succeed. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, Thanks for stopping by. You. Thank you very much. Yeah. What's it mean to have the Comptroller here, a new brewery, the Bull and Goat? What's all this doing for our community? You know, I think it shows that economic development is, is alive and well, and we want to be in the yes business. We want to do whatever we can to help support small local businesses. And if that means drinking good beer, we'll do it. Absolutely. These guys have, unfortunately, usually when they have their growler night, is the same night as a council meeting. So I try to get the council meeting done as soon as possible so we can come over here before they close. Yeah, come on, guys. You got to speed these things up. <laughs> we got places to go. Right, do we have to do anything special for Bull and Goat to get them open here? We actually did. Our zoning laws at the time did not permit this type of a business. So they came to us. Jake and Jeff came to us. They wondered what, what they could do to actually open here. So we looked at our zoning code. We made a couple of modifications. We included uh, a definition of a, of a nano brand. Uh, we brought it through our planning commission, the council voted on it, and they were open probably within the month. Great. Do what we have to do to get them open. Absolutely. I'm hoping that they have great success. I'm also hoping that the county can work with them personally as well through our EDC fund and find a way to help them advance uh, their product uh, and as well as advancing uh, businesses here in the county. So right here we're visiting all these microbreweries. What do these microbreweries mean to Maryland? Well, they mean a lot of things. Um, first of all, they mean good beer. I mean, that's the goal. Most of the folks get involved because they want to brew great beer, and they're doing that. Um, but, but to the community around them, they mean that, that it's a place for people to go visit. It's tourism, so it creates a draw. Um, you know, we're at Bull and Goat now, so we're in Centerville. Centerville will uh, benefit just in uncountable ways by the draw that Bull and Goat will bring in from people who are just on a, on a beer hunt all summer long they're going to be going one brewery to the next just checking them out and and they wouldn't have come to Centerville they wouldn't have come to lunch they wouldn't have you know purchased gas they wouldn't have potentially stayed in a B&B &B overnight had they not had a brewery and that's what we're seeing with breweries and we see that with wineries and distilleries and creameries and you know all these other folks who have uh, taken the risk to make something make a local product right so it's safe to say that beer might be helping to save the day Beer, beer saves a lot of days. I, 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 I can uh, tell you certainly about that. Um, but, but I, I think I mean, we've seen counties and cities um, approaching us to try to figure out how to get a brewery, how to attract a brewery to open up in their in their area. And so we're hosting workshops to to help people get started because a lot of people have a dream of opening up a brewery, and and beer making is one of the few businesses where you can do that. You can turn a profit. Um, beer has to be good. Luckily, right. we've got great brewers to help help the new guys out. But, you know, it's it's a great business to be in. Yep. And every experience, every beer is unique. Everyone's unique. And, and there's, I mean, agriculture, I didn't mention agriculture, but, but in, in Queen Anne's County, we've got hop growers now producing really, really fine you know, brand name variety hops, Cascade hops and, and beyond. And they're growing grains and we're finally seeing malt houses open up to supply locally. So, you know, it, it's not that breweries come in and they change the character. Breweries come in and they support the character. They're going to support the local ag and, and keep Queen Anne's County, Kent County, um, you know, and, and Cecil County, the whole upper shore in agriculture while still creating these great vibrant places for people to come visit. Right. So now we can come to the Bull and Goat and get a taste of Centerville. So you get a taste literally <laughs> of Centerville.
Could you talk to us a little bit about Drink Maryland? Sure. Drink Maryland is a new program actually put on by the State Wineries Association. But the goal is to go to small downtown areas, you know, the quaint historic towns that, that um, typically, uh, you know, are, are summer seasonal draws, um, and to try to put them on the map as a place where uh, kind of this, this maker industry of brewers, wineries, distilleries, creameries come together and showcase their products. So June 17th, Drink Maryland Centerville uh, is happening for the first time, first year. Very excited about it. We've got 19 uh, craft producers coming from all around the state to Centerville, and they'll each bring their fans, hopefully, to Centerville as well. So all we need are good local beverages, great weather, and lots of people. Great. Are you going to be there? Uh, I will be there. I'll be there. Great. Great. So you be there. <laughs> all right, I'm sitting here with Jake in the center. Jeff's not here, <laughs> but Jeff, we missed you today. Right. The center, what's it mean to have these kind of places open up in the area? Well, listen, we're very thankful for, for Jake and Jeff for coming and choosing uh, Centerville to do these types of, uh, open these types of businesses up. Um, you know, not only do we appreciate what they're bringing here and as far as working here, but the name that they create for, for Centerville. And we were just talking about an event that's going to go on here on June 17th that brings a lot of different brewers and uh, people together that manufacture these uh, independent craft beers. And uh, we want to see them here, and it's, uh, it draws attention, and we appreciate that. Great. And that event's the Drink Maryland, right? The Drink, uh, mm -hmm. Drink Maryland event, that's right. Great. Right so, and you're going to be out doing yeah, part of this we'll, too, right? Uh, of course. So we'll have a booth out uh, in uh, the center of the town, and then we'll have the brewery open. And uh, it's a pretty cool industry. We look forward to actually having the other breweries come by and taste our beer and hang out and talk with them a bit too. So it'll be a lot of fun. I bet you Jeff doesn't miss that one, I bet, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. We'll both be there for that one.